Welcome back everybody, so glad you could join me today. I'm RJ, this is Planet Crafter. We are in hardcore mode today. We're gonna give it a try. One life, one... Oh no, 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 come on. Alright, like I was saying, one life, one try. We die, this is done. So let's grab up a few materials here. We need to complete our first steps. And we also need to get the terraform index up to 175,000. In hardcore mode, your food, water, and oxygen deplete very quickly. And we're cutting it pretty close there again. Let's use up some of the materials we've been gathering to craft up a oxygen tank, a backpack, some of our scanner tools like the deconstruction, construction chip, and the flashlight chip. We'll also use some of our materials and make our first living quarters. All right, living quarters done. Uh, we need a couple more things so we can put a door on it. Can't get in it without a door. All right, now we're going to grab a couple more things and let's make a T2 craft station. Nice, now we got our T2 craft station. We can make our, uh, we can't make our exoskeleton suit yet. We got to get a few more things again. Sweet, this gives us eight slots in our exoskeleton suit. Now we can make our flashlight chip to add to our little ray gun here. I'm going to throw another piece onto our building here. I don't want to get too big here because I do know that this area is eventually going to fill up as a lake. Not sure exactly where I'm going to build yet. I think we'll put another temporary building up top on this hill up here. And eventually we'll find a place to call our permanent home. Oh yeah, we're cutting that one close again. Definitely need to get some power going now so that we can get our drills, our heaters, and our vegetable tubes going so we can start generating heat, pressure, and oxygen. And that'll get us one step closer to unlocking our food growers. I think once we get our food growers unlocked, life is going to get a little bit easier for us on this barren planet. There are storage crates located around the planet here that we can find. They usually do contain space food in them, but that's only going to carry us so far before we run out of that. And I don't really want to die because we starved to death. Run, little legs, run. We're almost out of oxygen. Now let's get our T2 oxygen tank going so we can stay outside a little longer without running out of oxygen. T2 oxygen tank, twice the amount of oxygen we had when we started. So for our T1 heater, we need iridium, iron, and silicon. I'm going to gather up a few more supplies. We're going to throw down a temporary pod not too far from here because I do know there's a golden chest there and I want to go grab that now. I'm going to throw another door in the back side of this pod so that just in case we're getting really low on oxygen, we have easy ways to get in and out. Also going to slap down a T2 crafter here so that we can make oxygen and water as we need it in this area. I believe there's a couple more blue chests in this area too that we can scrounge up. Hopefully we'll get some food out of there. That'll keep us going a little bit longer. And the golden chest is just up over the hill here. But this is going to take a couple trips to get everything. These chests are not the easiest, here it is. They're not the easiest to find out here in the dark either. So this is going to take us two trips. I do want to deconstruct the golden chests because you do get some super alloy out of them too. Aluminum and super alloy. Love it. Now we got one of the plant seeds out of that golden chest, so we're going to throw down a plant tube here. Throw that seed in there, because it gives a 600% oxygen bonus. I just hope I don't forget about it and leave it here forever. Alright, plus 0.9 oxygen. I guess it's better than nothing. We also got a chunk of iridium out of that golden chest, so I guess we can throw down our first heater here too. 
Nice. Now this is going to help us get a little bit closer to being able to unlock the food growers. But placing down the heater means we need more power too. That's not a problem. We'll grab a few more pieces of iron. We'll throw down a few more of these solar wind turbine thingies. And life will be good once again. Well, need another piece of iron and titanium to throw our next drill down. I'm going to run around, grab a few more materials. That way we can make our T2 backpack. Then when we head up to the iridium cave, we can bring more iridium and hopefully some more aluminum back with us. Give me a T2 backpack, please. There we go. Oh, nice. 20 storage slots now. So we dropped everything off at our first little temporary base. We're going to make our way up this hill, grab some stuff as we go, and then that way we can make a little bit more of a permanent home for ourselves. And we'll also be a little bit closer to the Iridium Cave. I think for our first kind of permanent base, I want to build somewhere right around this area. It seems to be kind of centrally located to all the different biomes around here. And I don't think this area is going to fill up with water and turn into a giant lake on us. Uh-oh, low oxygen. We better get our shelter going real quick here. <laughs> I gotta quit cutting it so close with the oxygen thing. I mean, I do have some oxygen cylinders on me that I'm carrying around, but I don't want to use them unless I absolutely have to. Alright, let's get some wind turbines set up. We'll get a couple drills set up. Then we can work on getting our heaters going. That'll get us one step closer to finally getting our growing tubes. All right, let's see if we can sneak over the iridium cave, grab a few pieces of iridium, maybe pick up a couple pieces of uh, aluminum while we're at it, too. We do have a couple of oxygen tanks, a couple of water bottles with us. That's going to help get us in here, get out of here. And then on the way out, I think we're going to plop down another little temporary base right through here. Just so that as we run back and forth, we have a place to stop and get some air. The one thing I don't have with me, though, is any food. I do think, if I remember right, there is a blue chest towards the back of this cave. Hopefully that'll have some food in it. There it is, boys. I see some iridium. Let's go get it. Give to me. Yes, give me some more. Give me some more. Give to me. Now we can get some more heaters placed down. That'll help our terraform index go up. Ah, oh, that's right. We have to place these inside, though. We can't place them outside. Let's head back. Maybe we'll make a little temporary shelter here, and we'll stuff a heater or two in it. Kind of starting to get worried about the food level though. We may have to run back down to our drop pod and grab a pack or two of food out of there. I don't know though. We'll see how this works out for us. Taking another little safety shelter or whatever right here is probably going to be a good spot. That way we can get in and out of the cave, still have plenty of oxygen left to make it back and forth to our main base. This will also probably be a good place to throw down a couple of heaters, that way we won't have them in our main base. We'll worry about those a little bit later on in our main base. But right now our main goal is to get the terraform index up high enough to unlock the food growers, because that's probably going to be the worst part of the early game for us. I think we have what we need to throw down another heater, and then we'll go back in, grab some more of the iridium out of the cave, and I want to grab the stuff we need to put a T2 crafter in here to also. Alright, 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 time to go grab some more iridium, maybe we'll grab some aluminum while in there, see how this plays out for us. Yeah, nice. We're going to pop down another heater. I think we're going to throw down another wind turbine. Then we'll head back to our other base. Maybe do a little work on that now. 
make a little pit stop in here. We'll hang up our Terraform index screen. Maybe we'll throw down our blueprint screen. Probably just going to throw that on the floor for right now. We can always pick it up and move it later when we build a desk or something for it. Then we're going to have to hightail it down to our first temporary base. Maybe grab some of the uh, space food packets out of there because we're getting dangerously low on our food. Let's throw this guy on the floor here. That way we'll have our blueprint screen so if we do find any chips, we can always come back here and unlock other blueprints. Oh nice, we just unlocked our T2 veggie tube. Now we can make better sources of oxygen. Oh yeah, peanut butter and jelly space food. Here we go. Last thing I want to do right now is put down a T2 veggie tube so we can get our oxygen production going a little bit better. Then we'll run over to our other temporary base. We'll grab that golden flower which gives us the 600% oxygen boost. And we'll get that into our T2 flower grower or veggie tube pot thing, whatever you call it. Alright, let's get this golden flower back into our T2 veggie tube up at our other little temporary base here. Nice, that gives us 7.2 ppqs of oxygen. And that'll give us a little boost to our terraform index. So hopefully we can get our food growing tubes before we starve to death. Alright, I'm going to end this episode right here. Hopefully when I get back tomorrow, we'll be able to unlock our food growing tubes and get a bunch more base building done up above. I hope you guys found this interesting. If you did, please remember to hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed. I will be giving away a couple copies of this game here in the very near future. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on it. And as always... We'll catch you in the next one.